What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we are going over... What to do first in NBA 2K21 My Team, how to make MT, how to do this, how to do that, what to do first. And we're going to get into it. A bunch of different tips in this game, man. Um, A lot of tips, man. Work in the auction. What to do first, all that good stuff, man. If you're new, smash that sub button. It'd be greatly appreciated. Let's hit 100 likes on this video. We're going to do a lot of giveaways on Twitter, Instagram as well. Follow the Twitch. We're streaming on YouTube and Twitch pretty much every single day. And oh my god, guys, there's so much going on right now in the game. I did get it early, so you're probably seeing this pretty, pretty early. But what should you do first? Well, here it is, man. We're going to go over what to do first in NBA 2K21 My Team. So when you first enter, you get the starter pack. And I'm going to say pick. Do not pick Allen Iverson, man. I, I think he's terrible. Either Melo or Shaq, man. I think you're going to want a big man or KG. You're going to definitely want a big man. This is my starting squad to start off the year, man. We got 92 Boogie Cousins in a pack. Huge W. But um, what to do first, man. First off, you got your pre-order packs and whatnot. Make sure to pop those. Try to sell off the cards. Now, what else should you do? First thing I would probably do is domination. Then again, guys, it's Hall of Fame difficulty. It's very hard with this squad. Like, super hard. So it's completely up to you, man. I'm just saying, yo, Hall of Fame domination is very, very hard. It's super hard. I had a very, very long time with it. I tried to play. I just quit the game in the first quarter because you got to really sweat, man. This year, Hall of Fame in the first domination is very hard to do, guys. Very, very hard to do. So try it out, man. Let me know how it goes. I would probably do that. Or then again, man, we have single player triple threat in which you could possibly get a diamond Brian winners, 92 overall, which is absolutely crazy in my opinion. Um, then we got all these rewards. Once you get to, I think, uh, and you get Amethyst Isaiah Ryder. That's a crazy card. Um, once you get to Diamond Stefan Marbury, guys, that's pretty crazy, man. And Diamond JaVale McGee. So I would definitely do TTO first, honestly. TTO triple threat offline definitely seems like the better move in my opinion. So yeah. Definitely do this first. This is probably your best method. Now, what else to do? We're going to talk about the auction as well. What should you do? Well, first off, sell your cards, man. Once you get into the game, once you unlock your cards, once you get your cards, sell your cards because you're going to see the biggest market crash ever right when the game drops. As you guys can see, man, the best cards you can buy of the auction, the Amethyst, the Hardens, the Kawhi, they are already at 34,000 MT. So 28K for Harden. That would be a snipe. Too bad I do not have enough MT. I did just get the game. I wanted to pop packs. I have $100 ready to go, but it's in New Zealand currency. So it's $150 versus $100 in my currency. So yeah, I definitely cannot pop these packs yet. It's definitely a lot more expensive than US currency. Unless this is the actual price for 450000 BC, which I doubt. But uh, let's see. We got no diamonds on the auction. So... Another thing is, man, what should you do first, guys? First off, you got, like I said, sell your cards. Um, check every single card in your collection, man. See if you have any silver with value. So right here, man, this silver is going for 3K. I'm going to put him to the auction, man. Um, this bronze, 1,000. So pretty much every extra card you do have in your collection right now, I will go ahead and sell because they are definitely going to drop in value. Every single single card you have in your collection that is silver gold whatever check them in the auction house see what they're going for if they're really cheap like this card i just sold them for 800 mt that's a very good price 750 mt for silvers silvers are pretty valuable like right here danny green for a thousand that might be a snipe you just want to see what's going for a decent amount in your collection to see if you can sell off so right here it is dejounte murray it's going for around 5,000 MT. I'm going to try to sell him. Let's check out um, LaMarcus Aldridge. This is pretty much how you're going to make a lot of MT day one. This is what you should definitely do first. Just search through your collection. See what's going for a lot. So right here, man, my guy LaMarcus Aldridge is going for 3K. He's going to get put to the auction as well. 
So he's going for a decent amount. Lamarcus Aldridge is going for a decent amount. I'm gonna put him up for three thousand. I'm gonna put Lamarcus Aldridge up for three thousand as well. We can make easy MT this way, guys. You just gotta go through your collection. Probably your best bet. You definitely have to sell your cards as soon as possible, right when you can. Definitely check out some some cards, bro. Like this card's fifteen hundred. The only one up there. People are gonna try to complete these sets. That's all I'm saying. So you should definitely. Check your collection. It's probably going to be the best way to make MT. Once you get your MT up and you play some single player TTO. So like the best method right now, man, play single player TTO. Get a better team. Domination right now in Hall of Fame difficulty is probably not the first thing you want to do. You most likely want to get to a team a little bit better than mine. Maybe get some Amis like Harden and whatnot. And then possibly hop into it. So that's my best method as of right now. Definitely do not pop any packs. Um, so let's see how much is Zion's going for. 84 overall Zion. He's probably going for a decent amount. Ah, uh, he's not going for that much. So he's actually a pretty good pickup for the price. Same with Brandon Ingram. If you guys really want to play Hall of Fame Dom, you should probably at least get a Sapphire team. That's probably number one recommendation. Not only that, what you should do first, man, you go into Community Hub. There's also another locker code right here. You just got to go to the Community Poll. Once you do enter that, you get another token. And now, for tokens, guys... You get emeralds. You get these emeralds first. You have to buy these emeralds first until you get to the next stage. In which the emeralds cards, Clay Thompson, guys, that's a very, very good card. You guys definitely need to get for the budget baller, man. I just put him off the bench. This is the squad. So now how did I get this squad, man? I did pre-order the Kobe edition. I didn't spend any other money than that. This squad right now is looking pretty solid. I also have a decent amount of MT at 14K. Other thing, bro. If you somehow get your MT up to 20,000 MT... Amethyst filter is going to be money. Big money snipes. That Harden is still up there for 28k. These cards are going to drop in value. There's going to be millions of snipe, okay? Millions and millions of snipes. Once you get into the game, you're going to start with 10k if you did pre-order the Kobe edition. Now, what you do with your 10k, you simply flip rubies and sapphires consistently. Rubies and sapphires consistently sell. So, Amethyst, not too much yet. But when the game drops at 12... There's going to be a lot more flow on the Amethyst end. So once you do enter the game, man, sell your rubies because they're at like 10K. They're not this valuable whatsoever. They're not valuable. None of these rubies are valuable. Not a lot of people have the game yet. So as you guys can see, there's not that much flow on the auction, man. Just telling you right now, once you get in the game, sell everything you got. And that's pretty much what you should do first in my team. I say single player TTO, sell your cards, work the auction like this. And that's how you're going to make the most MT, guys. Other than that, I'm going to say the most budget best filter is definitely the Sapphire. But, yo, guys, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please smash that like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff, guys. Have a good one. Peace.